Right there. It's yep. the most I, uh, wonderful time of year. Yeah, no, I, I lived in uh, West Texas for about three years, and, and I saw my fair share of scorpions. I think mm. one of them stung my dog. Yeah. Uh, because that was on a, it, it swelled up on like any other insect bite I'd have ever seen. So obviously, of course, they're not insects, they're arachnids like spiders. So anyway, uh, moving on from the creepy crawlies to the weather, we had all the talk of tornadoes. Of course, we had several touchdowns over the course of the weekend. That's not the only thing we've been dealing with, though. Take a look at some of the rain totals that we have seen. Uh, basically the last 72 hours. So this doesn't even include what happened uh, most of the morning on Friday. This is just from the weekend. How about almost seven inches in Rogers? Uh, almost five inches in Troy. Little River almost four inches there. Almost three inches in Temple. And then up uh, at the airport in Waco, the regional airport up by the lake, 2.75 inches. So a lot of rain fell. And interestingly, these are some of the highest totals. You get outside of that main path that those storms were traveling, of course, over those two days. And, and the totals drop down precipitously. It just shows you the really hit and miss nature of the way these storms come across the area. 82 out there right now, plenty of sunshine, so a very different day. Except the humidity that is that has been constant. That was constant today. 60% out there feels like 84. So a couple of degrees there in your heat index value. Southeast winds still carrying in that moisture. See, that's what's different this time around. Usually we get the severe weather. We get a dry line. We get a cold front. We're done for about a week. Can't we can't get out of this warm, humid sector. We've got those southeast winds still in play even after everything we saw yesterday. Lindsay, I heard remarking earlier about how humid it is outside. Yes, it is. It is very humid and it won't stop being that way until we get rid of that southeasterly flow across the area. Of course, you still have those south winds, so we're in the 82 to 87 range. So that's what we're dealing with in terms of temperature and again, plenty of sunshine that's helping as well. As far as where the storms are now, they have moved off the coast and into the, the uh, deep south there. We are staying clear today, but the rain does come back very quickly. We're going to start tomorrow night on our forecast model. Watch what happens. Now this is one resolution of what the radar could look like tomorrow night. This is a really heavy handed look at as these storms come through the area oh, into the overnight hours Tuesday night into Wednesday. And if that happens, if those storms are able to hold together, they'll kick off an outflow boundary, which will kick off a second set of storms as we head into Wednesday afternoon. And again, this is one resolution. This is the more heavy handed model because I want to show you what could happen as these storms continue to roll through as we head through the rest of the week. Now for Wednesday, you saw that we do have a marginal risk of severe weather. I think the better chance for severe weather, though, that will come with our best chances of rain on Thursday, and then those chances taper off behind a cold front that's going to come through Thursday into Friday. I say cold front, but as you look at your seven day forecast, yeah, it's not really going to get much cooler. We're going to be back into the lower 80s as we head through the weekend, but those rain chances just keep going all the way into the beginning of next week. We're the tropics. That's what Absolutely. it's like. Yeah, definitely wow. keeping an eye on that. All right, Matt, thank you.